In this tutorial, we will look at how to use layers in Capture One. Layers are an efficient tool for targeting adjustments to certain areas of the image. So for example, this image has some background adjustments and also three additional layers. So let's see the impact by looking at the image without the layers. The layers tool is placed in these three tabs. But keep in mind, it's the same tool. It's simply available from multiple tool tabs. To create a new layer, I'll start by clicking the plus icon here. I want this layer to change the clarity of the cloud. So I'll add a bunch of clarity in. But notice that nothing is happening. This is because the layer does not yet have a mask. Masks will determine where on the layer your adjustments will be applied. So I'll reset clarity and let's go ahead and make a mask. Masks can be created in multiple ways. This tutorial will cover how to manually brush in masks using the brush tool. Let's pick the brush cursor tool here. You can also use the shortcut key B. To change the settings of the brush, simply right click on the image. I'll stick to size and hardness for now and make a large soft brush just for the clouds like so. When I start to brush, the mask will show with a red overlay. By default, the mask will only show when I'm brushing. If you want the mask to show or hide permanently, use the keyboard shortcut M to toggle this setting. Let's mask the rest of the clouds in like so. I accidentally brushed a bit too much, so I choose my erase brush here or use the shortcut key E and erase a bit. With the mask created, the clarity adjustment will now show. Notice that the tools available for layers have a small brush icon when working on a layer. The next layer is going to darken the foreground a bit to enhance the focus and composition. When adding multiple layers to an image, it's always a good idea to name the layer. Double click the layer to rename it. I'll call this first layer Cloud Clarity. The second layer, I'll call Darken Foreground. As opposed to the first layer, I'll apply my adjustment before brushing to better control the final effect. Let's reduce the exposure a little. To mask this adjustment with more control, I'll right click and reduce the flow to around 10%. Each stroke with the brush will apply this percentage of my exposure adjustment. This means every time I brush over the same area, the adjustment has more impact as the mask gets stronger. I'll also make my brush a bit smaller and a bit softer. Now each stroke with a brush will apply this percentage of my exposure adjustment. This means that every time I brush over the same area, the adjustment has more impact as the mask gets stronger. To see the exposure adjustment without the mask overlay, remember to use the shortcut key M. Now I can easily mask in my darkened foreground. Great, now we have two layers applied. Each image can contain 16 layers. Let's add a third to give some warmth to the sky. Once again, I'll right click on the image. I'm gonna put my flow back up to 100. Make a nice big soft brush. And then just mask in the very corner of the image. I'll hide my mask once again using the M key. And to give a brightening effect, I'll just lift the M point of the curve like so. The warming effect I can do from the color balance tool. So in the master tab, I'll push this towards the reds and oranges and also add a little bit more in the highlights. Now this layer might be a bit over the top. So to tone all adjustments down at once, simply decrease the opacity of the whole layer up here. This simply means you can balance the edits on a layer without having to go back into every single tool on that layer 
and changing the adjustment. Another type of layer is a heel layer, which can be used to cover or conceal objects in your image. Let's try to remove this rock in the water. This time, click and hold the plus icon in the Layers tool and choose New Heel Layer. A heel layer requires a source point, so selecting my brush again with the shortcut key B, I can create the source point by holding down Alt and clicking once on the image. Now I can brush on the rock and it will take the area from the source point and cover up the rock. The heel layer will intelligently blend in with the surroundings. If I want to move either my source point or where I brushed, I can just click and drag. Another type is a clone layer, which will simply copy the actual pixels from the source point to the destination. Let me show you by changing the heel layer to a clone layer. As you can see, the clone layer does not blend as well as the heel layer does. Keep in mind that heel layers in Capture One are dynamic and will update accordingly to changes made to the background layer or other layers. To learn more about advanced layers and masking techniques, visit our learning hub where we cover gradients, luminosity masking, and more.